raining. It's wet, it's cold, it's still dark. There's two stacks roaring down in the gully. Just dropping down now. Stags are roaring across the creek. There's three going off. It's just coming to first light. Oh my god, he's going nuts. Sounds like he's up on the first bank. Never shot a stag before, and it's only like a a little lad, but <clears throat> be pretty cool to sneak in and see how close I can get. Oh, the doe's just seen me. Doe just feeding out. Stag. Only my first warning here, so I don't really want to go try and make a move. I could hear three stags roaring. Pretty stoked to spot him before he spotted me. The little stag wanted nothing to do with me. The hind was on heat and he was licking his lips running after her. That was pretty cool to see one bedded up. I definitely could have snuck in. I'm just sitting back. Sneak to that bush just here. He was sitting just in here. Probably like a. I'm probably 50 from where he was. I could have got into 30, 20. Now he's just chilling.
again. Right now. Oh, it's so steep and skinny here. So it's gonna sneak back out. I don't wanna drop down on the floor because I don't know. I could hear him roaring this morning. Oh, where should I go? Bad spot for some free lunch. Been glassing this for a few hours now. I'm pretty drenched, but not, not much um, battery left on my camera, so I might actually walk back to camp, charge up for a few hours. But first, I might just go along here and just see if I can spot any antlers just tucked up. With that rain still set in and not much usually happening in the middle of the day, I decided to head back, charge my cameras up and come back out for a late Arvo hunt. Oh, that sure definitely beats walking that few K track to and from and across the river. After spotting another little spiker, I got into the thicker stuff again and tried to call him in. It was such a good sign to see these deer and the practice on these little fellas. These were not target animals for me, and although I had never got a red deer or stag, I had 10 days and I was going to spend my entire time searching for the big heads that I know are in this area. A lot had gone into finding this location. I'd come on a previous trip and spent countless hours up different mountains in snowy conditions all throughout the South Island of New Zealand. If you haven't seen those videos, go into my hunting playlist. I had some awesome adventures. Having a final glass, I did some roaring. It's just the last bit of light. These iPhones just brighten up so much. I can only just see. I'm just watching these areas over in here, seeing if anything comes out and I know where, where to sit on other times. So my new cheat way of getting home, just slide. <laughs> I don't think people understand how steep some of these places are. Look, look at the edge there. Well, pretty much can't see now. Just scaled down from the top. Gotta to go get the four wheeler and head off. Gotta go pick my girlfriend up tonight. 
So I'll give it a break for two days, get my stuff together. I'm going to actually just come and set up a camp here so I can just stay here at night and hear them roaring and start moving around and get in position. All right, I'm scared to put my bow on my back in case I get shot. So I'll get off this and put a light on my head so no one hits me. Not a cloud in the sky. That moon is so bright, hardly need my head torch. She's gonna be chilly tonight. <laughs> Luckiest man alive. How yeah, good. I have to cross the creek and take my shoes off. Ew. I got back about 10 o'clock that night, drove straight to Christchurch and picked up my girlfriend. Um, picked her up, just come in, so you might grab a couple of them, bit of that. Betta was flying in for eight weeks to break in horses. She does this with her friend and her husband has this epic bee business and they have this tiny little shack in amongst the warehouse that we're allowed to stay for free. Pat, what are you doing? So it's epic in between days off the mountain. I could cruise back, have a shower, and see better, and all the pets that they own. Walk out of the house. Have you already been abandoned? Because there's a new pet. Another pet. It's me, I am the pet. You got another pet. <laughs> you're not allowed to film it, because you're not allowed to tell James. It's a surprise. A surprise, you just bought it without your husband knowing. Look at you, another pet. Look at you, little cute eyes. You're so cute. What's your name? You got a name yet? What do you reckon, Patrick? It's pretty much Dr. Doolittle's house. Peaches, come here. Here. Come here. That's right, the pig knows how to sit. I was here on a mission, so I only spent the one night with Better. I got all my camping gear together, a heap of food, and the plan was to immerse myself in the mountains with the stags. That way I could spend the night hearing where they're roaring, locate them, and start moving in super early in the morning. I hit one last feed at the pub, had a beer, and headed into the mountains. Hit subscribe, the next one's a cracker.